What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and today we're gonna be looking at the TK800, which is yet another 4K projector from BenQ, so stay tuned. So last year, BenQ dropped the HT2550, which is one of the least expensive certified 4K projectors you can get. Now BenQ has followed up with their new budget projector known as the TK800. Notice I said budget, and that's because it's priced at $1,500. Now I know a lot of you don't consider $1,500 to be a budget projector, but believe it or not, this is still one of the least expensive 4K projectors you can get. So in the box, the TK800 comes with everything that you get with the HT2550. This includes a 10 foot power cord, a nice white backlit remote, some documentation, and two AAA batteries. So overall, the TK800 looks just like the HT2550, with the main difference being the nice metallic blue faceplate. Now, some people may not be a big fan of this, but I actually think it looks really cool. It still has all of your menu buttons on top, along with the zoom and focus dials over the lens. The back has all of your ports, including audio jacks, PC input, two HDMI ports, USB, and a 12 volt trigger. It also has adjustable feet to help you get it lined up with your screen if you're putting it on a table. So not only does the TK800 look just like the HT2550, but the specs are also mostly the same. You still get a 100 inch screen from about 10 and a half feet away. It supports 3D if you're into that, and it also has HDR support. Now, as far as installation features go, it doesn't have lens shift, but it does have automatic vertical keystone correction. This means it can automatically straighten out the image for you if you have it tilted at an angle. So I'm using a TK800 with a 135 inch gray screen, and my first impressions once I fired this thing up was wow, it really does look amazing. The image is really sharp and bright and animated movies and sports look awesome on this projector. Now, without getting too technical and getting into arguments about true 4K, the one thing that can't be argued is the fact that this is a certified 4K projector. This means that it produces an image that's sharp enough to meet 4K standards. Now, BenQ does mention the words true 4K in several places when referring to this projector, which I do think can be a bit misleading since it's actually using pixel shifting. However, 4K is a standard, and I can tell you that the images that are produced from this projector are incredibly sharp, and I have no problem calling this a 4K projector. So as I said earlier, the TK800 shares a lot of the same features as the HT2550, but the major difference is the color wheel and brightness. So the HT2550 has 2200 lumens and an RGB RGB color wheel, while the TK800 has 3000 lumens and an RGBW color wheel. So what this means is you end up with less accurate colors on the TK800, but you end up getting more brightness out of it. This makes the TK800 a better option if you need to use it in a room with a lot of ambient light, or if you wanna use it for things like sports or gaming and you just care more about brightness than you do color accuracy. Now, we'll be doing another video where I'll do a direct comparison of the TK800 and the HT2550, where I'll spend more time in case you're tossed between the two. So the TK800 has five picture modes. This includes vivid, sport, bright, cinema, and football mode. Now, cinema mode has the most accurate colors, but it dims the projector down quite a bit. Now, out of the box, it did come in football mode since BenQ is definitely gearing this towards sports, and football is one of the best modes. It's nice and bright and vivid. The only issue is that the colors are a little bit oversaturated, so I do recommend turning down the color a little bit. So aside from color accuracy, the TK800 is a really sharp and bright projector. I think it will work really well for sports fans or gamers. And speaking of gaming, I had absolutely no issues with input lag, and I saw no rainbows when playing some fast-paced games. So now on to HDR performance. So I tested HDR using the Nvidia Shield and a few HDR test videos. I have to say that I was actually impressed with the HDR from this projector. It doesn't look as good as a high-end OLED TV, but it does look pretty good. Now the black levels weren't that great, but the colors did stand out really nicely in some of the scenes. So just like the HT2550, the TK800 also has a five watt internal speaker and it does put out a good amount of sound. Now it's not something that sounds good enough to watch a movie with, but it does work really well for watching TV or YouTube videos. So I think this is another nice budget 4K projector from BenQ, and even though it has a lot to offer, it does have a few trade-offs. Now one issue is that it does have a light border problem. So basically there's a border of light that can be seen around the actual projected image. And the size of the border 
number is gonna vary with the size of your screen. Now, to be fair, you really can't see this that well if you have a larger screen, especially something bigger than 130 inches, but you can still see it, and it is something that should be noted. Another issue that I had was audio hiss. Now, I'm not sure if this was because I have a review model, but I did get a lot of hiss coming from the speaker, and the only way I could get rid of it was to either turn the volume all the way to zero or mute the speaker completely. But aside from those minor things, this is a really good projector. I think this will work really well for someone who wants to put a projector in a room with a lot of ambient light or windows, and it'll work really well for sports and gaming as well. And I do like the fact that BenQ has been listening to their customers, and I think they have the right idea by giving us more options. And I'm really excited to say that I am partnering with BenQ to do a giveaway for a TK800 and an HT2550. So if you're not already, you definitely wanna make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on that. And hopefully you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go ahead and mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.